So this problem is about rotational dynamics. It says a uniform rod of length L and mass M is free to rotate on a frictionless pin passing through one end as shown below. The rod is released from rest in the horizontal position. So this is our rod and it is fixed on, its, uh, on one of its end and it is free to rotate in this direction. So what is the angular acceleration of the rod? Now, here is a tip. If the question is asking for acceleration, it could be angular acceleration or tangential acceleration. You could use the equation torque is equal to moment of inertia multiplied by angular acceleration. So, and then you expand it, wherein you're going to have F R sine theta, which is torque. And the moment of inertia would be, in this case, it's the moment of inertia of the rod, wherein the axis of rotation is on one of its end. So, and if you're going to refer to the moment of inertia table, the moment of inertia of the rod in this case, with... The axis of rotation on one of its end would be 1 over 3 ml squared. And since the question is asking for angular acceleration, so that is in fact our alpha. So now as we expand fr sine theta, so the force here is the force that would cause this rod to rotate. And the only force that is acting on this object right here that would cause the object to rotate is in fact its weight or the force of gravity on the rod. And that is equal to the mass of the rod multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity. Now remember that force of gravity would always be acting on the center of mass of the object. And that means to say that this r in fr sine theta should be the distance of the force of gravity from the axis of rotation. So this is the force of gravity right here. That's our mg. And our r is actually this, the distance of the force of gravity from the axis of rotation. That is our r. So in this case, our r is just half of the total length of the rod. So therefore, our r is going to be equal to L over 2. Now our theta in this case, since our lever arm is actually on the horizontal direction and our force is perpendicular to the lever arm, so therefore our theta would be 90 degrees. So that's going to be sine of 90 degrees. And that is equal to 1 over 3 ml squared alpha. Now manipulating this equation would lead us to solve for the angular acceleration. Now, what if the question is asking for tangential acceleration? So very simple, you just have to expand or to change our angular acceleration and express it in terms of tangential acceleration V. Remember that alpha is equal to V over R, where V is your tangential acceleration and r is the distance of a point from the axis of rotation. So if it's going to ask for tangential acceleration, it would specify a location in the rod. So it could say, what is the tangential acceleration of the center of mass? Or what is the tangential acceleration at the end of the rod? So it would always specify this r, wherein your r in this case is the distance of a point from the axis of rotation. So once again, if the question is asking for acceleration, use the equation torque is equal to I alpha, or torque is equal to moment of inertia multiplied by the angular acceleration. Now what if instead of acceleration, the question is asking for speed? So in this case, it could be angular speed, 
or tangential speed and if it's tangential speed it would specify a point on the rod just like in this question what is the tangential speed of the rod as it reaches its lowest point in this case you are going to utilize the law of conservation of mechanical energy we will have potential energy initial plus kinetic energy translational initial plus kinetic energy rotational initial is equal to potential energy final plus kinetic energy translational final plus kinetic energy rotational final so expanding this equation we shall have the initial potential energy would be equal to mgh plus our translational kinetic energy is actually zero because the object is not moving linearly it is just rotating so we don't have translational kinetic energy so we'll be able to cancel translational kinetic energy on both sides once again it's because the object is not covering a certain horizontal distance or a certain linear distance also our initial rotational energy is equal to zero because the object is released from rest so since the object is released from rest it is not moving with any angular velocity and then we have final potential energy which is equal to zero because the rod has reached its lowest point and therefore we have final kinetic energy rotational on the right side of the equation and rotational kinetic energy is just equal to one half i omega squared now let's expand uh, this equation further so our m would be the mass of the rod we have g the height of the rod would be or the initial height of the rod since we are interested in so in looking for or we're interested in the tangential speed of the center of the rod so the initial height of the center of the rod is actually l over 2 so because as the rod swings this becomes its lowest point and this distance from its initial height would be l over 2 so that is our height initial then we will have l over 2 is equal to one half our i in this case is still the moment of inertia of a rod that is fixed at one point and that is equal to one third m l squared now our omega which is angular velocity should be changed into tangential speed now remember that omega is equal to v over r uh, where v is our tangential speed and r is the distance of a point from the axis of rotation and so if we are going to expand this further our omega squared becomes v and the r that we are interested in is the center of mass so therefore the center of mass is located halfway through the length of the rod so our r in this case would be l over 2 because again the center of mass is right in the middle of the rod squared now manipulating this equation you should be able to obtain v or the tangential velocity of the center of the rod at its lowest point if it was if the question was just asking for angular speed or angular velocity then we could actually just keep this equation and you solve for omega so that's it uh, once again if it's asking for acceleration use torque is equal to moment of inertia multiplied by the angular acceleration and you just have to change to v over r the alpha if it's asking for tangential acceleration on the other hand if it's asking for speed 
either angular speed or tangential speed, then you may utilize the conservation of mechanical energy equation.